That ought to make sense to anybody. But we've been confused around this question. And we've had a false national consciousness imposed on us. By that, what I mean is, if you look at West Africa, there's a place in West Africa that's called Cameroon. And Cameroon was named by the Portuguese because when they first got to that land, they found off the shores uh, a lot of shrimp. And Cameroon comes from the Portuguese word for shrimp. So you got a lot of black people in West Africa who run around calling themselves shrimp, mm. but they are not shrimp. Look at the place that they call Nigeria. This is something that was invented by England. England had, had captured our land, our territory, and then sent this man named Frederick Lugard, who worked for corporations in England, sent him to this place in West Africa where they combined two territories, and territories into one administrative whole. Lugard then had to come up with a name for this territory, for England, not for us, but for England. And so his mistress, who later became his wife, her name was Flora Shaw, said, let's call it nigger area. And so now we have people living there calling themselves Nigerians. It is a false national consciousness that has been imposed on us around the world. It has made us weaker everywhere we are because we cannot see our full strength. Because we call ourselves Jamaicans, we call ourselves Trinidadians, we call ourselves African Americans, Ghanaians, Nigerians, Sudanese, and a whole host of other things when the fact is that we are Africans. This is who we are as a people and every border that you see on the continent of Africa was one that was created by Europeans, by white people, who sat around a table in Berlin in 1884 and 85 and carved up Africa into these areas that you now see that they call different countries. We've come to an understanding that as a people, we shall never know freedom as long as we are fighting for that freedom within the context of the borders that have been created for us by our oppressors. If we are to be free, then we have to understand that we are going to have to be free as a single people, African people, who are fighting for our liberation. But part of what our liberation means is that we are fighting for our homeland. We're talking about fighting for Africa itself. And I know that a lot of us have been taught to hate and be afraid of Africa. But Africa is the richest continent on earth in terms of natural resources. And everybody in the world is going to Africa, stealing even today everything that they can get their hands on. Right, speak, so man. So you see an imperialism in trouble. Whether that imperialism is in France, or whether that imperialism is in England, or whether it is here in the United States or Canada, all of them are going back to Africa to try to get more and more and more loot and resources from our Africa. Right. Look at China, a country that's now on the rise, mm -hmm. challenging U.S. hegemony around the world. One of the most important places that it is challenging the United States is on the continent of Africa. China is the fastest growing economy 